Hello, everyone, and welcome to another great session here at UAGC. My name is Dr. Tisha Shipley, and today I'm going to be your presenter. We're going to be talking about building a professional presence as an early childhood professional. We kindly request your attention for a brief moment. In the spirit of transparency and utmost respect for our community, we have some information we'd like you to read on screen. By taking a few minutes to read through the disclaimer, you empower yourself with important information regarding the boundaries of our knowledge sharing environment. Take a moment to read through this slide also, then together we will embark upon an exciting session. Today, we're gonna to talk about professional presence as an early childhood educator. We are going to go through several examples of how to put yourself out there, tips on how to be a professional and how to build your brand. The reason you want to have a professional presence out in the world is so you can network and find your team. When you do this, you are going to be able to advocate, share, find more resources, share your knowledge, collaborate with others, learn and grow. Each of these things helps us have a growth mindset and to not only grow professionally, but also personally. Many of the things we are going to discuss today will be about social media because that is a great way to build your brand and to show yourself in a professional light. So for today's session, we are going to talk about how to put yourself out in the world and also build relationships. This may be with families, it may be with the community, it could be with other professionals, colleagues, the admin, or even your students. Building that relationship is a vital part of teaching. These are just some examples of how teachers communicate traditionally with families when they're teaching. One-way communication is fine, just like these traditional methods, they're great but we need to grow. We must think outside the box. How can we engage with families we work with more? We must put ourselves out there to grow and work with other professionals. We want to begin building a reciprocal relationship, which means a two-way relationship, not always a one-way. So you want to think about building a brand. So think about this. Who are you? Who do you want to be seen as? How do you want people to see you? What are your passions? What topics can you share? Why do you want to share? How are you going to network? How are you going to find your team? Your group of people that have the same passions you have. You must ensure that your professional and personal social media accounts are separate. You want to present yourself as an expert in your field and create an online present that communicates who you are as a professional teacher. So you want to build your brand and know what audience you are targeting and what kinds of information you will offer. You need to choose a professional username that tells your audience who you are and what you will share. You want others to be able to find you easily. I have several different usernames that I use. Um, one is the Busy Classroom, one is Child Development, and then one is just Dr. Shipley. So whichever one that they were to Google or look for you, you want them to be able to find you. You wanna think about starting small. The very first thing I ever started was a YouTube channel, and then I built a website. So choose a platform that is easy for you and that you feel comfortable using. You want it to be meaningful for your families or other professionals or whoever it is that you're working with. You also want to show that as your brand, okay? So you want to start small and you want to make sure that you're excited about what you're using. Make sure you're using a professional profile picture. You want to have a consistent, professional, engaging, creative biography or profile description, which most of these online platforms ask for. You want to post and share regularly. You want to engage professionally with your audience. And you also want to decide if you are going to have more than one social media, if you're going to share in several different platforms or how you're going to do it. Um, because you want many families to be able to follow you and get information. So the first social media platform we're gonna talk about is LinkedIn. It's one of the largest professional networking platforms out there. There are about 930 million users as today. 
After you set up your LinkedIn profile, you can search for jobs, network with others, share articles. You can talk about books, ideas. You can do so many things on LinkedIn. You can, net, you can connect with people from all over the world. And it's almost like an online resume. So people see you and the professional things that you have accomplished. So this might just be a small one that you want to start out with. Or if you don't have a LinkedIn, make sure that you get one and make sure it is very professional. So my website also has a professional name. It is called Busy Classroom, and it is on Weebly because I chose this platform. It's free. There are numerous websites out there, though, that you can choose from, okay? A website might be one of the most popular ways to house your information, to share pictures or ideas, and for you to actually stay organized. And this platform also allows your families to click through the pages of your website and obtain whatever information you want them to have, okay? So it's, it's important that you think about a website, but I will tell you that it is time consuming to set one up, all right? Um, here are a few things that I actually share on my website, which is like a homework page, a blog, my recipes, important information, dates, things you're working on. You can have a page that shares resources that you want to share with other professionals, with your families, with the community. The website is yours. As long as it states professional, you can share whatever you would like to share. As I go through this too, you might want to pull out your phone and just take some screenshots so that you can also remember without having to come back through. My next one is my professional teaching blog. It's actually on my website, but you can also do a standalone blog if you would rather have that. Um, a blog is a website or a page that's updated with new topics and information, content resources, frequently. Um, it's things that you can share with other professionals out there or families, your administration, your community, just like anything else. But a blog is really where you can write things down, write about what you're doing, share with your families, link out. Um, it's another pretty easy one to start if this is something that you want to start out with small. My next one is Twitter. Twitter is now called X, and it's one of the fastest news sources out there today. Currently, there are 450 million users on Twitter. This is where you will want to find your team of people, and your team includes any other professional that engages with you and shares the same passions as you do for early childhood education. And on Twitter, you can ask questions, you can retweet, you can tweet out ideas, you can get into different communities and different groups. And honestly, it is ever evolving. So there are many different things that um, people are doing out there on Twitter. So my Twitter name is at Tisha Shipley, but my page is called Child Development. So you can also see that I keep it very, very professional when I am doing it. These are some things that you can do on Twitter, connect with others, find topics, connect with families, find resources, engage in new ideas, find your team, because these people will really help you and will really back you out there professionally. This is my professional um, Dr. Shipley Instagram I link out my Instagram onto my website also. This is a place in where it's all about sharing pictures. Currently, just today, there are 2.53 billion users on Instagram. I use my early child Instagram to share ideas with child care providers, teachers, parents, staff, administrators. It allows you to share inspiring pictures and activities that you're doing. And then in the comments section, you can put the directions for any activities or the materials that you want people to use. Um, you can also keep this page private if you would like to keep it private so just the families can see the pictures or you can make it public if you're not sharing pictures of the children that are in your classroom. So Instagram is a really fun way to get information out there to your families. My next platform is my Pinterest page. This is a Dr. Tisha Shipley Pinterest page, so I keep it professional. It's another form of social media that allows you to share creative ways to engage your students and families. It can have your teaching content. Today, there are 465 million users on Pinterest. 
Um, you can make boards, you can share boards, you can um, use other people's boards. You can use this for other professionals and parents so that they can reference your boards or your information and content from your teachings. You can share other professionals boards also and really engage with them through the discussion board and really get your name out there as a professional. One of the more popular and older older forms of social media is Facebook. Today, it has 2.9 billion users. Um, Facebook actually started back in 2004 as a place to share your life and to keep in contact with others. But today, it is used for much more than that. And you can use it just like you do anything else. You can keep it private and only invite your families and other professionals. This is also a place where you can go live. So if you're doing a really fun activity and you want your families to see you doing it, you can do a live Facebook and um, the families can join you and watch what you're doing. YouTube is a perfect place to house videos and announcements, lectures, whatever you are doing in your classroom. This shows your students that you're a real person and that you're dedicated. When I was teaching, I would read a book to my students every day on my channel. And if families did not have time to sit down and read to their children themselves, they could always turn on my YouTube and I was there reading to their child at night. Um, YouTube can have lots of different uses, so just find how you want to use it and use it to put your professional brand on your classroom. TikTok grows with more enthusiasm by the day, and it has one point almost seven billion users right now. Um, it allows you to share in an innovative way who you are as a professional. And if you go and you get on TikTok and you start um, looking up different teachers, there are teachers all the time creating content from their lesson plans that they're already um, doing in their classroom. It's where you can share, you can engage, you can collaborate. And that content is out there for others, but also for you to share what you know. It shows that professional side of you and gives you that professional brand. So I'm always trying to come up with new ways to get people excited. So here is a podcast. Our podcast is called Early Childhood Chatter. Podcasts can do so many great things for not only students, but also to get you out there as a professional. And we are super excited here at UAGC that Dr. Hild and I have our early childhood chatter podcast. So if you want to take a peek at that, just Google it really quick, or you can find it anywhere that you find your podcast. You can have your students in your classroom do a podcast. You could do an early childhood podcast. You could do a child development podcast. There are so many ways to get yourself out there as a professional using a podcast. Now, all of these ways of getting yourself out there professionally are wonderful ideas on how to brand yourself. So now you have choices. I've told you how many users are on all of these different platforms. And these are only a few suggestions on where you can begin building yourself as a professional and having a presence out there. So who do you want to be? What is your brand? What do you want to share? Who are you sharing with? These are some questions I want you to reflect on. These are some things I want you to think about. How are you going to get out there as a professional and have a professional presence?